Oh, hey everybody, Big Mess, Messer Branch Outdoors. Do you want to be able to tie some hackle cut wings just like I have right here in my Norvice fly tying system? Well, if that's the case, you're on the right video. So let's get started. All right, folks, be honest with you. This is the third time I've done this. The first one, I was not zoomed out far enough so you couldn't really see what I was doing. Second time, I think was great. Got everything adjusted, except I forgot to hit the, the record button. Um, so here we go, third time's a charm. Right here in front of me, I have hackle cut wings. Super easy to do. I learned this back in the 1990s by a Mr. Roger Lowe uh, from Wingsville, North Carolina, and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you watched the last video with me talking about wrapping hackle, I did this at the end, but you couldn't really see it that well. And if you didn't watch to the end, shame on you because you missed out on this, but here we go. Here's redemption time for you. So I'm going to remove the uh, jaw off my Norvice here right quick. And if you're not tying into Norvice, that's fine. But if you want some information about Norvice, be sure to look in the video link down at the bottom of the description. All right, so hackle cut wings is a great way for you to use some of the feathers on your capes that you might not be using in any other places. You obviously know capes come in all different sizes, grades, colors, yada, 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 just like us as people. This is a great way to be able to maximize and extend the, your dollar. Let's just face the facts, folks. It's real simple. These things are not cheap, but you want to maximize it and get the most out of it. So one way of doing that is finding other uses for these other than tails. And, and we will use these as tail fibers also. I know a lot of folks use Coke de Leon and things like that. But at the end of the day, if you're tying with yellow, you know, yellow, we want a yellow tail. And that's what we would do with these. So I'm going to not ramble on too much. I'm going to select two of these feathers here, the longer feathers that I would not use in other cases. You also could select from over here on the side as we get up through here, some feathers that you would not use for maybe typical hackle on a dry fly. And let's do that. I've got this facing you guys, so it's a little bit difficult to see. So I want to face it to me if you don't mind. Is that okay? Thanks, I appreciate that. So I've got it facing, facing me right there. I'm gonna wrap two of these feathers. All right, let's see here. Here's one, two. Bam, got them. Beautiful. Got two feathers. All right, as you can see, they're fairly long. I'd say these feathers are at least six inches. Uh, maybe a little bit more, give and take. So what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to strip the bottom barbules off of this feather. Real simple. So it's no, not to reinvent the wheel here, okay? Beautiful, we'll try to keep them as even as much as possible. There we go, just like that. There we go, can you see that all right? I'm gonna do that on the second feather as well, if I can. Thank you, here we go, beautiful. Just like that. So we have two feathers, got the barbs stripped off of them, and this stem is actually a little bit thinner than this stem here, which is amazing, they came from the same area of the, and look at the links are about the same, interesting. The next thing you gotta have is a pair of fingernail clippers. You've probably got some somewhere. These are an adult side. There's also the uh, infant size. You can use those for smaller ones if you want to, or you can adjust what you're doing uh, based upon your cut. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna select a feather here, and I'm going to take, as you see, the natural curve. For me, I'm going to have it facing me, the, the, the shiny side, and I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put the feather in my left hand at first. I'm going to take my fingernail clippers and want to use this natural curve. I want to point with this finger here. I don't want to insinuate anything. Y'all, shame on y'all. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use this natural curve. I want to hold it up so you guys can see the back. See how I've got that in there? Can you see that? Earl, you got it. Bingo, beautiful Harrison. Cut, just like that. We got already one side of the wing cut. I'm going to flip it over and just do the opposite. That's, that's all there is to it. Now, the more of these you do, the better you get at this. Just like that. Wham. Look at that. We got one beautifully cut wing. All right. I'm going to do the same to the other feather so we get a pair of wings. Thank you to everybody that's been chiming in where you're watching from. I actually had some folks uh, chime in this week that are watching from other countries out of the state. So that's great. So thank you very much. I know myself, Braden and Alex, really, really appreciate that. Alex, you don't really see that much on camera. It's because he actually doesn't live here. He's um, down in, um, he's in North Carolina, but he his, he works for the airline industry and um, him and his fiance are down that way. Hopefully we'll be here for Easter. 
He was just here last week. He was here when I was recording the other video. We were out scouting for some turkeys and moving some trail cameras. Okay, so here we go. In the meantime, you saw me cut that up, that uh, other wing. Look at that. We have a nice pair of wings that are matched. Simple to do. Listen, if you screw it up, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. Everybody screws something up. Just, just start over. All right, I'm going to grab a hook. I didn't have more than two hooks laid out. My apologies. Let me just grab this up here right quick. All right, here we go. Real simple. Now, I've got to put my vise back together. You guys good with that? Great. Thank you. So here we go, just like this. It's a cool thing about a Norvice, folks, is just how easy it is to put together, take it apart, change the jaws. Man, it's awesome. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that. And if you're tying on one, you know it for sure. Okay, so let me get a hook stuck in here. I'm going to be using some orange thread that I have here on my Norvice auto bobbin. Then what I like to do is I like to get my thread started. I'm down here. I'm going to come forward quickly, and I'm going to break that off. Now, I'm going to rotate my Norvice, and I'm going to come up to where I want the wings to be tied in. Beautiful, just like that. Now, this is a tip for you. You don't want to be too far forward. You don't want to be too far back. You want to find a spot. Now, remember, when we tie these wings in, we've got to stand them up. So understand that your wing is going to actually be a little bit more forward. So, uh, uh, you know, err on the side of caution there and just go back just a little bit at first to, you know, if you got the right starting point. So I'm going to take these wings and I want to tie them in so that the natural curvature of the stem is going to keep them spread for us, okay? which means that if you're looking at the front of the hook, it's going to look like that in my Gumby best tube. All right, so here we go. Beautiful. And if you've landed on our channel and this is the first time you've joined us, be sure to hit that watermark down below and subscribe to the channel. We are growing, and it's because of you folks. I'm going to rotate my thread counterclockwise. I'm going to do loose wraps. And if you notice, they see how loose that thread was when I come around? And I did that by putting palm pressure on my auto bobbin, which allowed me to really pick up on that thread. I'm happy with where the placement is. I'm going to start wrapping backwards. It's okay. It shifts a little bit. Not a big deal. Now, as I get further and further away, I'm going to put more pressure, more pressure, and I'm going to start to lift up on these stems. Watch this. Up, up, up. That one broke. Up, up. Boom. Look. We have a natural taper already for our dry fly. Can you see that? Natural body taper. So the more things I can do now that's going to allow my fly to come together better, I want to do that. As I come forward, I bend the wings backwards. Look at that. That's awesome. You can't do that with hackle tip wings, the tip of the hackle. Now, they're already spread apart. All I'm going to do is take my thread, oops, didn't mean to hit the camera, and make some wraps. Boom, boom. My apologies on the camera hitting, folks. I didn't mean to be Mike Tyson on you there. Iron Mike Tyson. Okay. Hillman, I guess that Paul filler is going to go, go head to toe, right? Anyway, so there we go. There is a pair of wings, an awesome pair of wings um, right there. I'm just going to sneak, reach in there right quick. I'm going to cut that out of the way so you can see it. I'm going to rotate this slowly towards you. See how they are naturally spread apart? And the great thing is I can push these forward, backwards. I can push them forward, tie in materials, and you're good to go. Questions. The first question they get asked at the shop, do these last? And the answer is absolutely. They're very durable. They're actually more durable than a hackle tip wing, as you see right here. Uh, these actually can get snapped off, broken off from where they come from on the uh, particular feather. The other thing is they cast very well. The third thing is they look good and it actually makes it easier for you to tie your hackle in because as I mentioned, you can move the wing back and forth out of your way. I'm going to take this out of the vise. I'm going to rotate it towards you so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. So there we go. There is a pair of really nice hackle cut wings. If you made it this far, we want to thank you for watching. We also want to uh, just give you our, our, our best wherever you're at out there in this world. 
Let us know what you're tying, where you're fishing at, where you're viewing from, just like all the other folks have there. If you have a questions, you can email us at uh, messerbranchoutdoors at gmail.com. Be sure to look at the link down below for the Norvice fly tying system if you're interested. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next week. And y'all, let me tell you, y'all go catch some fish. See ya. Take care.